What are the final thoughts on Chamat, the social capital CEO on GameStop Saga? Let's dive in. Look, on the way in, I think what GameStop showed was the narrative fallacy uh, on Wall Street. I think for years, there was these folks that sort of, you know, were these wizards behind the veil. And um, they had a way of conducting themselves that purported to be just intellectually superior to everybody else. Um, but in reality, what that short showed was that they were prone to the same, you know, poor decision making um, and broken systems and technologies that everybody else has to deal with. Um, and so I found that kind of funny. Um, I think it also spoke to the fact that you know, we really haven't looked closely enough at the systems that were broken as a result of 1998 and LTCM, long-term capital management, then 2006, seven and eight with Bayer and Lehman. Um, and we're allowing the same problem, you know, slightly different, but roughly the same problem to repeat itself over and over again. Um, and so that's what sort of angered me about GameStop. Um, and then on the, on the back end of it, I just felt like these two worlds collided in a way where I doubt that in the end, in the final analysis, there was any collusion of any kind, but just the stench of this whole thing just goes to show you back to where we were talking about before, about how difficult it is for normal everyday folks to have access to any kind of return. So if you, if you know, sort of we break down the capitalist philosophy, they are just fundamentally stuck in this cul-de-sac of always being labor and always being sort of at the you know ownership of the of of capital of the ownership class and then the fact that normal folks can't get access to returns and you know close the inequality gap is just going to make all of the things we're dealing with today a lot worse than they already are wow i mean guys i wonder uh, how the whole situation will look like if we can uh, actually predict uh, the whole scenario. Uh, I wonder what if uh, Robin Hood uh, think about before doing all that mess. Because in general, if we think Robin Hood exists today simply because all of the small players, e everyone with a hundred bucks in his account in Robin Hood trading stocks, uh, if these uh, small folks didn't uh, start signing up for Robin Hood in the beginning, Robin Hood will never exist. Uh, if Robin Hood just rely in the beginning of the hedge funds, Robin Hood won't exist. Robin Hood will be just another startup on the line that didn't make it. So, bottom line, guys, is uh, to wrap up the whole case, the whole situation is that uh, Robin Hood should do much more for its users. Robin Hood should always remember that it's successful today and probably will be for the future only because of the small guy with a hundred hours in his bank account, in hundred hours in his Robin Hood account, not because of the hedge funds, not because somebody with a billion dollars portfolio is supporting the app.